of the day. Uh, the verdict come in from Ferguson, and the verdict in Ferguson was in. So you ask the question, what do we do? We've been marching in Chicago. We've been marching in Detroit, Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., saying that was the wrong thing. The police did what he, uh, he, and what we have to do with that whole scenario, I feel that what we have to do with that. And I feel that it's very important for you, uh, the citizen, to boycott Black Friday. Uh, the day after Thanksgiving, you need to boycott. Marching is not the solution to deal with the carpet greed. Everything, everything going up high. So this was happening uh, in Ferguson. They said, well, we're going to march in Ferguson. Marching was good back in Dr. Martin Luther King Day. We're more intelligent than that. We need the boycott. We need to save our dollars and get some transparency to money. What I'm talking about. Hey, if you save your dollars, Walmart and Target and all them stores, that's, that's okay in this. If somebody said it's okay for you to let this policeman go, they shot Michael Brown. So the corporate world don't care. Kill a hundred blacks. It's all right. Long as you come and shop on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So I call on you, the citizen. I call on you, family, black family. Don't shop on Black Friday. Make it truly black and keep your green dollars in your black pocket. Let me say it again. Make it a truly black Friday. Keep them green dollars in your black pocket and said, I'm not going to shop until we get justice. No justice, no peace. No justice, no shopping. No justice, no shopping. No justice, no peace. No justice, no shopping. Now, I, I, I ain't got to be with a master degree. With a, I don't have to be a professor, a rocket scientist to tell you, if you hold your dollar, Ferguson will come into play. If you hold your dollars in Chicago, New York, California, and if you hold your dollars and boycott Black Friday, who brought Black Friday anyway? I'm asking you from the Dr. King movement, from the Black Family movement, and all the ancestors, do not go into a store on Good Friday. Do not go into a store on Good Friday. Boycott Good Friday. Why? I'm boycotting Good Friday because of the community, because of the black family. I'm boycotting because uh, Michael Brown didn't get a fair shake. Mega Evers, Mika Swan, uh, a lot of people didn't get a good shake. Emma Till in Chicago. Uh, Mega Evers in Mississippi, uh, Brother Joseph down in Alabama, and these are the things that we are saying, boycott Black Friday. Save your dollar. Say, on Black Friday, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to go to no store on Black Friday. And I'm talking about Ferguson. The days and the event happening in Ferguson, in Ferguson, in Chicago, in New York, in Cleveland, and Detroit, in Mississippi, Louisiana, down in Las Vegas, St. Paul, Minnesota, across the length breadth of this country. These are the things that happen, and I'm asking you to hold your dollars 
And on Black Friday, I don't care how low the price be, if you can hold your dollar, you can sell a different. Because the carpet community is behind all this killing and robbing and all of that. So you need to hold your dollar. Stay focused. I say, I say our ancestors and let them walk with you as the ancestors come to you. I say, I say our ancestors the east, west, north, and south that if you say on Good Friday, on, on Black Friday, I'm not shopping. I'm going to hold my black dollar in my pocket. Now, you don't have to be a teacher, doctor, lawyer, professor. You don't need that. All you need to have a common mind. You can be a house nigger, a field nigger, or can be no nigger. But you ought to save your money. Don't shop on Good Friday, on Black Friday. Why? You, your dollar count. Now, one of the things that I found out, the only way to make people listen to you in mass, boycott and hold your dollar. In Montgomery, the bus boycott. Uh, the boycott since Red Rooster in Chicago. The boycott, boycott in New York. The boycott in Los Angeles. The boycott, everywhere we have a boycott, we have recognition. So I'm telling you to tell somebody else, boycott Black Friday. If we can get this out through the media, call a friend, call a neighbor. So Bishop Turner said, suggest to you and ask you to boycott Black Friday. You can go Saturday. But Black Friday, boycott. Because they say it's Black Friday. Let's truly make it Black Friday, but not spending a dime at Walmart, at Target, at all the stores that set up to take your money, boycott. If they really want you to have it, they have the sale going the whole month of uh, December. Boycott Black Friday in unity of Ferguson. Let me say it again. Boycott. Black Friday in the unity of holding your dollars till we get justice. No justice, no shopping. No justice, no shopping. No justice, no peace, and no shopping. Let me say it again. No justice, no peace, no shopping. No no justice, no shopping. Save your money. Black Friday become Friday black for real. That you don't pile in them stores and spend a dime. Boycott Black Friday. Let me sit it out through the drums. Let me ring the bell. Boycott Black Friday. I'm sitting out. Boycott, boycott Black Friday, boycott Black Friday. I'm ringing the bell to boycott Black Friday. I'm starting now. Save your black dollars on Black Friday until we can get justice in Chicago, justice in New York, justice in California, justice in Ferguson. Hold your dollar. Don't shop. I don't care what kind of deal they's giving you. Just hold your money. Say, I refuse to shop on Black Friday. Why? That's what you want to know why. Because one of the reasons they did not treat Trayvon right. They did not treat Michael Brown right. But that's just the tip of the iceberg. It's a loss of Michael Brown. It's a loss of Trayvon. We just don't know their name. But we can hold our dollar. Black man, black woman, hold your dollar. Black family, hold your dollar on Black Friday. Make Black Friday a true Black Friday for not shopping. I'm, I'm telling you that. 
I'm asking you, don't shop, boycott Black Friday. And I want to thank you for you listening to what I'm saying, east, west, north, and south. And the ancestor is asking you, because they said Black Friday, let's truly make it a Black Friday with no shopping. A Black Friday saying justice for all people, justice for all black people in the world, across this planet, across the world. We ask you make Black Friday truly a Black Friday, not spending your money. I say, I say our ancestor, and it's out for you, and I want you to continue, call somebody, tell somebody that we right now in a war, we boycotting Black Friday. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.